This is the Saldorita adding machine. It's a rare machine that was made in Sweden. It says so right there. On the back it has Saldorita. And on the bottom are the instructions in Swedish. You can read a translation on my website. These are rather complicated instructions because this machine is not very user-friendly. It has a very clever, simple printing mechanism, but the input mechanism for the calculations is cumbersome and not very good. It was made in around 1938. It was uh, produced by Hugo Sandberg. He set up the uh, Saldorita Werken in uh, Motola in, uh, in Sweden in 1937 or so. The patent for this machine was uh, uh, filed in 1937, at the beginning of 1937, and uh, was granted the next year. So sometime during that year, uh, the, the works were set up and production probably started at the end of the year. By 1939, uh, production ended because it was not a successful machine. The inventor was actually a person named C.A. Johansson, but it's impossible to find out any more about him because he has a patronymic name. So he's the son of a certain Johan, but other than that, I have no idea who he is. Unfortunately, this machine doesn't work anymore. The problem is that all the rubber is gone. The platen roll here and the roller over the top, that should all have rubber, but that's all gone. It's all degraded. So the paper doesn't uh, get pulled through this system anymore. Also, it should have a, a wide ink ribbon here on, on this roll at the front, and there's a roll at the back here. That ink ribbon uh, would have to be uh, rolled forward auto by hand, so manually, not automatically, which is a bit of a, a bad design. So if you want to print the number, you just press this big red button. And that pushes the platen down onto the uh, type underneath here and also in the return stroke it gets forwarded, the paper gets forwarded automatically here. If you want to see a Saldorita in working condition take a look at Stephen Freeborn's video. This printing part is quite clever. There are uh, wheels here it's hard to see, but there are register wheels here and these uh, input sliders, when you slide them forward, they also provide uh, type. These input sliders are slightly uh, higher than the register wheels. So if you've entered a number, then you can press this and the platen only touches those sliders. So it prints the input number but after you've entered it and added the number and uh, clear the input, now pressing this button will allow the platen go to go a bit deeper and against the register, against the number wheels, printing the current total. That's quite unusual for a small machine like this that it can do, can print both the input and the total. A machine like the uh, Lipsia, uh, from around the same area doesn't do that. So to add a number, you just move these sliders forward. And as you do so, the register gets uh, added to, incremented automatically, and it also carries automatically. Note that if you want to print the input number, 
you do have to enter all the zeros as well because otherwise it just gets blank spots where the zeros should be but if you're not going to print it you don't have to do that so once you've added the number you can press this down to return the input to zero and enter the next number and at any time you can just press this to print either the input or if you've cleared the input uh, the total or subtotal on this side you have the uh, clearing knob and uh, you can only you should only turn this if there's if the input is cleared otherwise it gets uh, tangled up so you just pull this out and turn it clockwise until it uh, drops back in that's a full revolution and that has cleared the uh, register if you accidentally start uh, clearing while there is input you'll see that the uh, the slider gets caught up as well and yeah you it just uh, doesn't quite work subtraction is rather complicated you need to set the input to the number you want to subtract without uh, changing the register just that yet and to do that you first have to put this uh, this button into this second uh, location sort of halfway this is a kind of neutral and now you can move these sliders up without affecting the register then you push this further forward to subtract and now you need to move these uh, sliders back to zero and there's also these small metal buttons here if you uh, move this this first slider down you hold down this metal button and move the slider forward it goes straight to zero but no further this is a bit cumbersome the reason for these these little buttons is that you don't want to move the slider past zero because if you do that uh, the slider sort of disengages from the wheel the number wheel that you're moving and probably that number wheel will uh, travel further so you'll you'll be subtracting too much the uh, wheel will just uh, over over rotate by uh, using these metal buttons you're in ensured that the slider stops at zero it sort of blocks it moving further and at that point that the slider still is engaged with the uh, gear with the number wheel so that it stops dead so once you've done that you've subtracted the number and you can move this back to normal addition and that also returns these uh, to uh, their initial positions this is all rather complicated it would have been much easier if these metal buttons were not there uh, it would be fairly simple to do even you could just make sure that if this button is in the subtract uh, position in, internally the whole bar gets put in place that blocks all the all the sliders from moving back you don't need these individual buttons for individual columns um, yeah there's also on the instructions at the bottom there's also a whole bit about corrections the thing is if you're adding a number you need to move the slider to the digit you want but if you overshoot you can't just pull the slider back because if you do that the slider goes back but the register still uh, yeah stays the same because it, it doesn't move the number wheel back if you do that so if you go too far you actually have to move this into subtraction mode move it back 
and then move this back forward again. And also you have to be careful if you do that, that you don't push this button down a bit too far because then you lose all your input anyway. It's not very good the way this works. Let me open it up to show you the insides. That was the Celdorita adding machine. Thank you for watching.